Hi, I'm Leora Nosco, a certified A Approach vocal instructor. And fall again for you. If you are leading me on, if you don't love me at all, will I pretend until you do? I feel like a gift that I have for my students is to help them break down that overwhelming notion of how am I going to get from where I am right now to living a life that looks like me doing what I'm passionate about and, and pursuing my dreams. Me as an artist, um, okay, as I write more music, I, um, I like getting I can feel the music kind of going to more of a, a rock edge or I kind of feel the urge at least right now in what I'm writing. You know, I'm going to watch this video in like two years and be like, oh, that's not at all what I'm doing. Um, but right now, you know, that's, I'm kind of feeling that pull. From a, a, a label perspective, you know, I'm a singer songwriter. I, I like telling stories. Um, and a lot of times the stories are coming out of my personal experience or the experiences of people that I know. When people listen to songs that I write, it's, and I've heard a lot of other artists describe, you know, their specific songs this way too. It's not just about this one scenario or, um, you know, it sounds like you're telling a story from beginning to end about one person. When in reality, it's a story uh, that's coming from you know three or four different people and circumstances. That's that's me as an artist. When I found Eric on uh, on the internet, there, there were some things that he was saying that were different than anything that I had heard from anyone else. And some of the things that I saw in the um, in the instructional videos that he was pu putting out, I started to do. And then I noticed a difference in how I was sounding on stage. And I thought, I have to call this guy. I have to get an appointment with him and study with him. And so anyway, so then we started um, lessons and it was everything that he was talking about. I just, gosh, I was so excited because that was the missing piece. The, the philosophy that I take, the approach that I take with students um, revolves a lot around them, <laughs> It's more of a psychological thing, I think, um, because whatever is in your mind is going to inform how you're singing. Student has to, uh, more than technique, has to be convinced that they are, um, that they have a gift to give. I, I think, you know, maybe the conditioning in our society, like as far as the TV shows that are prompting this, and not to name any TV show names, but um, I think that's prompting people to feel like either I have this natural gift or I don't. So where my philosophy is going to feed those students is to, to let them know that if the desire is there to sing, if you, if this is what you wake up in the morning and, and want to do, you know, music, singing, playing an instrument, whatever it is that you're that your soul is being called to do. That's what, um, that's what you should be doing. Depending on what the student's individual goals are, depends on what my approach is going to be. So if I, you know, if I'm summing up my philosophy in that, then I would say that it's it's a case by case case approach, um, something tailored specifically for each individual student.